Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides, and I have probably one of my favorite all-time import cars right behind me. When I first saw it roll in, I thought I was seeing things. The show starts very early in the morning, so I thought maybe Mr. Sandman was clogging up my vision. But here we have a Nissan, and not any Nissan. It's a Skyline, but it's not just any Skyline. This is a Nissan Skyline GTR R34. This is the epitome of that whole Godzilla lineage with the GTR. This is one that still is very, very difficult to get into the States because of that whole 25-year rule. That's how now many of the Skylines that were unavailable in the United States are now making their way over through different importers because of that 25-year law. Once a car is 25 years old, then it's free to come over. Now, this car is not 25 years old. So my question is, how was the car brought over? There is an option as a show car. If the car is qualified as a show car, you could drive it very little and they'll let you import it into the States. But let's get back to this car. As you can see, my favorite color on this R34, I really love the grill. I really love, you can see that big, huge intercooler and the lower uh, splitter down here. Remember, these cars on racetracks were unbelievable. And it was the Australians in the Australian Touring Car Championship that actually gave it the nickname Godzilla. A lot of people thought Nissan came up with that. It was actually the Australian Supercar Series. I really like this extra piece of carbon fiber that's been added. I'm sure this is going to help with aerodynamics, getting air in and over. Let's check out this hood. One of my favorite parts of an R34, if my cameraman Tom could show you, is this vented hood. This is functional. Nothing on this car is just for show. This is a totally functional hood. And what you're going to do is it's, we're going to take all that heat out of the engine compartment. This car has a straight six, turbocharged, a lot of heat. We're going to get that heat out from underneath the hood. If uh, Tom could show you over here. Let me uh, get in Tom's way. I really, really am in love with these wheels. These Nismo flat black wheels really set the car off. It's one of those cars, uh, you know, if you could see right now how many people are standing around it, they're, they're drawn to this car like a moth to a flame. Even though this car isn't brand new, it still is in great shape. These wheels are just really stylish. And this is what was used on the racetracks. Remember, when you see Nismo, that means something. That's like the racing branch of Nissan. It's sort of like if you saw a Subaru and saw those three famous letters STI, that's their racing uh, brand name, and that's what's on this car. Let's go ahead and continue down the side here. If Tom could show you in the back, one way that you know that this car was not sold in the United States, right-hand drive. So if you see an R32, an R33, an R34 Nissan Skyline GTR, they're going to be right-hand drive because they were not sold in the United States. The first Nissan GTR to be sold is the R35, and that is the one with the automated gearbox, totally different setup, totally different car. That one has a V6 with twin turbochargers. But as you can see, I love the lines of this car. Even though it's not brand new, it's got this classic look to it that I think will remain popular for years to come. Let me go ahead and show you the back of the car. If you look at the back of the car here, this wing, this is stock. Now, what happens is this owner did some modifications to it, but this is how that traditional wing looks. If you could swing around the back, Tom, uh, and show everybody the rear end of this car. This is the classic Skyline rear end. You have the four round taillights. So I don't care what year Skyline you're looking at, or even the new GTR uh, that's sitting in a dealer uh, showroom right now. It's that traditional four round taillights. I really like the way they say Skyline. Now remember, on the newer GTRs, the reason why it doesn't say Skyline, because it's not a Skyline. They're just called GTRs. This is a car that you could buy just straight up Skyline, your daily driver, but this one in particular has been pumped full with energy, full with steroids to give you the Nissan GTR. I really like this lower diffuser. Let me point something out to you. I don't know if you're aware of this. This is actually a fog light. In other countries, many of them have to run a fog light. And this actually turns on when you turn on your, your, your headlights. It's not, a, it's not a third brake light. So that's something unique to the car. But I really love the styling. And this is really the epitome of Japanese import excitement. But if you like seeing cars like this, leave a comment in that comment section. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit subscribe. Check out my website, radiesrise.com. Check out my Instagram page, all original footage. 
I could bring you more of this stuff. Just let me know if this is what you want to see. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next ride.